So today I'm going to show you how to use Flowdesk and the segmentation within Flowdesk to target your emails if you have like a flash sale coming up or maybe in this case this could be for Black Friday to get your list cleaned up and send people the emails that they want to get. So for example, I'm in Flowdesk now. I've created this new email here. Um, so this was based off of an email template that Flowdesk had. And basically I just went through and updated the text to say, I want you to click on what you want to hear from me for Black Friday. Okay, so we have three different buttons here. So um, if somebody just wants everything, then they can click this button. If they just want to hear about courses that I sell, uh, they can click this one. And if they just want to hear about my show it templates, then they would click this. So each button is set up so it automatically segments um, based on what you pick. So if you click this button and then you go over to link, you can see that there's a link action attached to this. And if somebody clicks this button, it's going to direct them to this page on my show it site and it's going to add them to the segment shop. So basically this is saying they just want to hear about everything that I have to offer in my shop. Okay. And then this button, if you click this and go to link, it goes to a different page on my website. And if somebody clicks this button, then they're added to the segment courses because they just want to hear about my courses. And then the same thing with these templates. If I go to link, you can see it adds them to this segment called templates. So basically this is allowing people to pick whatever they want to hear about from me. Um, so the next thing I want to look at is these different pages. So I do have these pages linked up um, in the notes below if you want to, to get them for free. Um, this is what they look like. So basically you have your shop deals, your template deals, and your course deals. So you can see um, that when somebody clicks on that link in the email, they will be sent to this page. Um, so if I just send a test to myself for an example, we'll send that so you can see what happens. Okay, so here's the email in my inbox here. It's just my test. Um, so let's say that I want to click this courses button. So I'm gonna click here to learn and that will open up the page on my website that I've designed. So basically it's saying, um, you know, stay tuned, you're signed up for the courses and you'll get it on um, this date. And then it has a link to, um, to show all of my courses if they wanna shop from there. And then what you'd wanna do is create a workflow based on this segment. If we go to workflows and you create a new workflow, basically you can um, pick one of these or you can just start from scratch. And let's say um, I wanna name this my Black Friday for courses and save that. So basically this is gonna begin when somebody is added to the courses segment. Um, and then you probably wanna add a little bit of a delay. So you could set up the time delay to be a certain time of week, certain time of day or a specific day. So I know that my first email is gonna go out on October 8th, okay? So then I can pick a time and then add an email. So let's say I'm gonna add this email and then I can create a new email basically announcing all of the courses that are on sale um, and give them a heads up and a link. And you could do this um, for all of your different segments. So your courses segment, your template or your shop template. The next feature that you can use um, and you can put right on your website. Um, I'm just gonna talk about Show It because that's what I use for my website platform. But what you can do is set up a form with a countdown on it. Um, so this can capture people that are visiting your website um, and get them to sign up for your email list. So basically there's a couple different for forms um, that you can choose from. And when you go to new form, you can go to countdown over here. So you can see it's a newer feature. 
And then they have all these different um, templates you can choose from. And what you want to pay attention to is this section here. So this one says countdown full page. And then if you keep going, there's another option for inline. And then if you keep scrolling down, you'll have another option for pop up. So I just want to go through um, how these all look on your website. Um, so once you select one, you can customize it however you want. So I have some here that I've already done. So the first one is this full page one. So if I um, click into this, you can see my options under settings. Um, I can choose my segment. So let's say um, this is for Black Friday. So I want to create a Black Friday segment. Okay. So if somebody signs up on this form, they'll be categorized as Black Friday. And then you can see if I close out of this and I click share, you can see it gives me a link. So basically, since this is a full page form, this is going to be used on a button. So for example, if I go into show it, so if I go into show it, um, I'm just on a test site here. So you can see I've created this banner here. And if I click this button and go over to click actions, you can see that it's going to link to that full page link. Now, if I go back into Flowdesk, there's one thing I want to show you. If I go under settings and then click link, you can actually customize this link. So if you don't customize it, it's just some random numbers. So maybe I want to name this, um, I want to edit this Black Friday and save it. And then um, you can also do a link preview so you can add like an image and a title and anything else you want to it. Um, but I'm just gonna use this for now. Um, so I'm gonna close this. And then if I go back into show it, you can see this was just the generic one. So I'm gonna change this to Black Friday. And I'm gonna have it open in a new window because I want people to still be able to go back to my website. So if I preview this and I click this sign up button, you can see it goes to this link and now the countdown is here. So you can see um, that this countdown is basically when I'm gonna launch my first email. Um, and if I go back to Flowdesk, I can show you if you just click on the countdown, you can customize it however you want. So you can customize the type of divider there is, and then you can customize the time. So let's say my first email is going to go out on the 8th, so I can customize that. So they have up until this day. Um, and then you can obviously change the font and colors. You can customize this however you want. Um, but I think the biggest things are the segmentation and the link. Okay, so that's the full page. The next form is the pop-up form. Um, so if you go in and you have selected a pop-up form, uh, again, you can customize everything in here. If you wanted to click on the countdown and change the type of divider, all of the colors, any dates, um, and then the important thing with the pop-up form is if you go to settings, you'll see some additional options here. So you can display it immediately after a certain amount of time or based on the percentage um, that the person gets when they're scrolling on your website. And then again, you want to add a subscriber segment. And then when you go to embed, you'll have this header code here. So if you are using show it, for example, you're going to put this in the head tag. So if I copy this and I go to show it and I am on the page, you can see under advanced settings, I'm going to put it right into this custom head HTML. Now, if you are in a canvas, you can see over on the right, you can see the options are different. So make sure you are on the actual page and the page name is blue. So you have access to these advanced settings. So then you're just going to click in the custom head HTML paste the code in there and hit save. Now, this is an important step as well. So if you go to preview this, you will not see the pop up. Okay, so if you're scrolling and you're like, where the heck is the pop up? You have to actually publish the page for the pop up to show. So if I hit publish on my show it site, and then I go to the page, 
you will see it pop up there. Okay, so that's really important to know if you're using a pop-up. Okay, so that's the pop-up form. Now, the one I actually like is the inline form. So um, if you're looking on here, so let's say I've created this inline form. Um, so this is basically, um, you can create your own pop-up and show it, which I actually prefer. So let's say I've customized this. I think it looks great. Um, I'm going to go to settings. And again, you see there's not as many options here. You still want to choose your segment. And then when you go to embed, you have two codes, a header code and an inline code, and you want both of these. Um, now with the inline code, you have to do a little bit extra work if you're in show it. Um, I have it hidden right here for now, so let's just make this visible so we can look at it. Um, so basically, this is just a blank canvas. I added an icon here. Um, so people can close out of it if they want. And then um, I have this iframe code here, which I brought in by clicking the bottom, or I'm hovering right now, and then go to embed code, and it'll put this box here. And if you double click in it, see this blank box come up, and this is where you're gonna put the header code. So I'm gonna copy and paste, and then hit enter, and then copy this inline code and hit save. Um, and then a couple extra steps and show it if you're building it through here. You want to make sure these settings are correct over here on the right for the canvas. So you want the stacking order to be really high so it shows on top of everything. You want it to be window height so it fills up the entire window. Um, you want it sticky to the top. And then you want it hidden to start. And then you want to add um, a trigger or somewhere for it to show up. So let's say when somebody scrolls to this canvas, I want that to pop up. So I click on this canvas, I click scroll actions, and then I have it set up. So when this canvas is on screen, it's going to show the Black Friday pop up and it's going to trigger it once. So if I go to preview this and I scroll down, you'll see it pop up there and then I can join. Um, and if I don't want to join, I can just close it. So an inline form requires a little bit more work on the show it side, but I also feel like it gives you the opportunity to um, have a little bit more control over where it pops up. Um, so that's why when you are picking the form that you want, it's important to pay attention to those different options. So again, if I go back to this, um, you can kind of see the different options because if you start with one of these, like let's say you start with one of these full page ones, but you want it to actually be embedded somewhere, then you have to recreate it. So just pay attention to those. And then after that, again, you're going to create a workflow um, based on what um, form you use. So again, you would start by creating a workflow and then... Um, you know, when somebody's added to black segment, then maybe you go back to that original email, right? You go back to that original email that you created where the, you start the segmentation process um, and then start a workflow from there. So if you have any questions, make sure you send me a message, comment on this video, and then also be sure to go down and get some of um, these things I've already designed for you to make things super easy.